Alright, so this is critical 3D Hack and Flash game playing Shadow Mage which is one of the upgrade advanced classes of the Gun Mage. So the Shadow Mage he has an altar that helps him fight. And what I mean by that is that sometimes when you do a move, he jumps in. Watch. Here's my altar right there. Um, who saw my tax? So, one that I had before. Oh, Shadow Vortex. It originally was this small disc that would go around. Now it's a giant hurricane deck. So I'm gonna go over moves. Shadow Mage is the most melee oriented out of the gun mages. The other two was Frost Mage and a Warp Mage. So this is basic attack. The altar does the attack for me. You also had a right click reaction move. I'm not managing this able. Uh, where occasionally there would be a prompt for the right click and then this giant hand would show up and grab the enemy, but that's amazing. Absolute garbage. And so. First skill you automatically get is upshot. Leave it at one. And let's see, what's the description? Ultra, which means it can't be interrupted. It's kind of nice. It's about the only good thing for it. Next skill, Shadow Vortex. Max it, really short cooldown. The next skill you automatically get when you upgrade to Shadow Mage at level 15. Level 15 is when you change your class. Hidden Strike. It's basically a three second trap. Another thing is, when they're in the trap and you press left click, you just do a rapid fire. Over there. Continue to fire like this. That's what you do. The next one. Okay, so the two skills you can get right away at 15 Shadow Lunge and Shadow Fist. Shadow Lunge is basically a Falcon Punch. And it actually does more damage on the Falcon Punch. This is basic. <laughs> oh, I crit it. And then you do like 130 more damage. <laughs> you do like 4 minutes to Then the other move at level 15 is Shadow Fist. Which is supposed to be like a stun move. It temporarily stops targets. So what I would do is <laughs> you get the idea. Grab them and then you 
this. Um, your dash attack that he changes to more like a short hot kick. Now it's a pistol slot. Yeah. You use the dash to kind of evade, but it has no vulnerability, and it doesn't go through any stuff. And you go to jail. And then at level 20, you can get two additional skills. Dark Talents, which is a cool. Description says Shadowy Claws knock back at nearby targets with pulls in this encounter. Yeah, but kind of pulls them towards. Then the last one is Rapid Fire. So, with Rapid Fire, normal, you can get up to 6 hits. To really make use of it, you gotta go under Options and click Auto Attack. Otherwise, you would have to have the button press all 6 hits with Rapid Fire. Now, I can just hold it. This is with Auto target on. Sharon Finish this. Okay, just on right at the moment. Now by take it off. Finish this. I had to click every single time. Auto Tarasso allows you to just hold on to the left mouse button. Otherwise, that's good. And so, those are all the skills I have up to level 20. Pretty nice. And now I will. Dungeon. That's really long loading time. A lot like Rusty Hearts. Very Rusty Hearts will make When you take hits, you can actually press tab and that's a will breaker. And the final boss they can go into an altered state. Finish this. Which you have to be aware of. And they do a lot of that. It's 
Só vou ir aqui. Whenever they're about to go into the altar, say you can actually stun lock them. That prevents them from actually even landing the altar. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> 
Here I actually just wait. Do anything there. Come on. 